Hi everyone, this is Hippa from My Little Journal and today I'm excited to be sharing an unboxing of the new kits and add-on stamp sets that are releasing today at Studio Calico. And today is June 1st, 2022. So let's get to it. As always, there's so much to share and it's all so beautiful and I'm excited to share all the things with you. I'm going to start with the add-on stamp sets and then we'll start with the kits. Okay, you guys, let's start with our add-on stamp sets. This is a different day, by the way. <laughs> I noticed in my first footage that something was off, so I had to re-record this. So let's get to it. This stamp set has all the circles. I love that it's buildable circles and those small numbers are just perfect to add into the little buildable circles and you can kind of build like three different circles in one which is pretty cool i'm so excited about this add-on stamp set so i think a few months ago studio calico had a bookshelf and it had these little um books and a cat and it said let's get lost in a world of books and daydreams and now they recreated it into a stamp and i'm so excited so you can basically make your own I love this. So you have the little books that you can add on the bookshelf, a camera, a cat, some plants. So, so loving this. I'm so happy they did this because I was literally hoarding that three by four card. Uh, next up is a summer stamp. This was designed by In a Creative Bubble. Really love In a Creative Bubble designs and I'm just really loving this one. So you have the little ice cream cone with the super cool find me in the sunshine, take a break. Uh, you can kind of document going to the amusement park, the beach, the mountains, really adorable. I'm excited about this. I've already used it and it's basically another buildable. So you have this focus on the good and you can fill in this little spot next to on. Basically you can add the arrows. You can use these little boxes to add in these uh, fun little sentiments and words. Really excited about this one. I, like I said, I've already used it. It's a fun little add-on stamp set. And this last one is another fun add-on stamp set with different types of words that you can use maybe as titles, as subtitles. So you have things will work out. You have what it takes. You will do great things. Love the circles out of, the wor out of this world. And as you can see, I've already used that so fun love it love the add-on stamp sets so i have so much more to share so let's get to it and move on to our kits so let's start with the stamp kit i'm going to be using this one today because i'm in love and this is designed by in a creative bubble i'm so excited that she's back and sharing her beautiful designs with us this is so adorable i love the let's get away vacation good times this moment is everything and then you have the beach, so you can document the beach, the park, uh, if you're hiking, the lake. I love it, love it. I can't wait to use this. I really like the playlist here, and it says Chill Vibes Playlist. So you can probably document your playlist, your summer playlist, magical details. So cute, so excited for this. And I'm going to be using it today in my process video. Okay, so let's take a look at the Traveler's Notebook kit. This kit is adorable. I got to get a sneak peek of it uh, as the creative team member. And I'm going to pull things out of the packaging and then just share all the things with you. Okay, so let's get to it. First off, the washi tape. It is beautiful. Love the flowers. That pink is just so gorgeous. Look at that. It is so, so cute. Very summery and perfect for summer documentation we also get some acetates these acetates are so cute love the flip-flops there's some strawberries and tangerines cactus these are so adorable i'm excited for these i love acetates and then the tags there are some teeny tiny tags in here you guys look how small these tags are so cute. So you have like one, two, three tags, longer, thinner, bigger tags. Love the colors. Again, a great way to document summer using some tags. I love tags because you can layer them. 
and it adds a lot to your spread and adds some texture. You get some alphas, really colorful, really fun. I love the crown <laughs> and you have the crown somewhere here in the acetates, really cute. And they're papery, so they're not like, they're matte basically. You get some labels, stickers in yellow, in that pretty mustard yellow. And then the stamp set is adorable. Again, designed by In a Creative Bubble. So you have the ice cream cones, Good Eats, Totally Satisfied, Summer Treats, very cute. So let's take a look at the Traveler's Notebook and the patterns. Okay, so let's look inside our Traveler's Notebook. Oh, these are so pretty. I can't even, these patterns, that's a favorite. I'm just gonna go through this real quick and show you my favorites. That one's a favorite. That one as well, really cute, and I love that. So excited for this. Love the patterns, so excited for the Traveler's Notebook kit. Uh, let's move on, I wanna share with you the Documenter kit. Okay, so let's take a look at the Documenter kit. You get those tags again, so it's a little pack of tags, all different sizes. I'm so excited that they added it to both kits because now I have two packs. Those tags are so cute. You get some coral label stickers and those beautiful colorful alphas, which I'm really digging. So the stamp set is, again, uh, designed by In a Creative Bubble. And it has the seashells and you can kind of document your trip to the beach if you wanted to. Love that. The June wood veneer. I love that pink. Now the acetates from this kit are flowers and they are beautiful. You get different colors, different sizes. And I'm excited about that. I am so digging the flowers in this kit. It's just so, so cute. And then the chipboard, which is always my favorite. These are also designed by In a Creative Bubble, which makes it so much fun. I love the, this is super fun on an adventure. Love it, I'm so excited for the chipboard. So let's move these aside and take a look at our cards because they are as beautiful as the kit. So I'm gonna speed this up and we're gonna take a look at the four by sixes and three by fours. Okay, so that's the four by sixes and three by fours. By the way, I always keep my favorites up top. So when I'm going through them with you, I always like flip them to the side that I really, really like. But this is a favorite. I love that. I love this one. And this one as well. Basically what I liked in the Traveler's Notebook. But this is just gorgeous. And I like that one of these cards, I think it's this one, you have it just white with the brown background which is pretty neat or you can use the lemonade which i might be using the lemonade because that one's so cute but anyways that is it you guys those are the kits and add-on stamp sets that are releasing today i'm going to be using this beauty in my process video today so if you want to see how i use the subscription stamp set just keep watching and as always i will have all the links for everything i shared 
and used in my video linked down in the description box for you. So let's okay, get Okay, guys, it. let's start working in my traveler's notebook using the new subscription stamp set and the new traveler's notebook. So while I was going through the patterns with you guys, I saw this pattern with the umbrellas and I thought it was the perfect pattern to document some pool photos. So I end up always spending a lot of time at the pool in the summer. So you're going to see a lot of pool photos within the next few months. But anyways, I went ahead, stuck down my four by eight photo and these smaller photos, I'm going to punch them out into circles to fit in with my umbrella pattern. Just thought it would be fun. I can add more photos. You guys know my love for multiple photos on one spread. Once I add my photos, I'm gonna grab my stamp set and start stamping. Now there's a stamp in the stamp set that said summer and it's slightly curved and I thought it was perfect to stamp over my feet, really fit perfectly. And then I'm going to grab the large let's get away and use that as my title for my spread. So I'm basically going to stamp it right in the center. I'll also stamp the little umbrella with the like the beach background. I know I'm not at the beach, but it's still fit and I thought I could always come in and color it in and let it, you know, kind of blend in with all my umbrellas. I also like to curve my stamps to go around a circle or a bowl or my hand or something. So I tend to do this because I feel like, you know, it's uh, it stands out and the spread is more unique to you and it doesn't look like everybody else's. I say this all the time. Everybody's using the same kits and the same traveler's notebooks. So change it up and make it your own. So I literally just curved one of my stamps and stamped it around the umbrella. I stick down my photos and I still want to add little things here and there. So what I decide to do is create some embellishments with the stamp set. So I stamp it on some white paper, trim it out and add it to some of my circles and some of my photos. That way I add some depth to that left side of my spread. And I will grab some of the smaller stamps just to add around some of the umbrellas and photos. Again, you wanna break down all those circles. You don't want it to be too circly. So basically I just end up stamping like high five and I think a geotag, some clouds. Again, bring in some black to my spread. I even stamp a heart right above summer directly on my photo. Once I'm done stamping around my umbrellas, I'm gonna grab the sentiment that says make it memorable and stamp it right underneath my title. Because my title is so big, I always like to break it down with smaller subtitles. So I, I just like that look. So I end up stamping that right underneath my title. And then I'm gonna grab those acetates from the Traveler's Notebook Kit to add a little something to my four by eight photo. And there was an umbrella that matched my pattern, so I go for it, but I don't like how you can't really see it against the water. So I end up just sticking it down to some white cardstock. I think I just used my tiny attacher for this. And I'm gonna literally just stick it on my four by eight. I love that it brought in the umbrellas to the opposite side of my spread and it added a little something to my photo. I'll even stamp a geotag from the stamp set on some white paper to add right above my umbrella and that way I add some more texture to my photo. Okay, I'm almost done with my spread. I'm just gonna grab my Crayola Super Tip markers and color in all the things just to you know make everything pop and blend in nicely. And then I call my layout done. So easy, so simple. Love how this turned out. Very summery and very pool-like. Anyways, you guys, don't forget, I'm gonna be adding all the links for everything I use down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.